We have to be the strength. Kailangan natin maging haligi ng isa't isa sa mga panahong ito. Yun ang gusto ko ipakita sa painting na ginawa ko. Remember the time when Tita Suzanne called me that I'm going to be part of their exhibit at the Congress for the last son of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. And of course, I feel honored and blessed to be part of the lineup. It was very meaningful to me because, of course, it's the president and it's, I know it's going to be part of history. We were tasked to paint the Republic Acts that he was able to approve and sign during his, the whole duration of his term. And I chose the Universal Health Care Republic Act as my subject. I entitled that painting, Shalama, 1 Peter 2.24. And I did focus on the Republic Act itself. I did focus on our needs, but rather I focused on the healing that we can get by having our faith and hope on Him alone. Because as you all know, whether we like it or not, the only way for us to heal and to not be disappointed is to fix our eyes on Christ. True healing may come from doctors, from nurses, from our frontliners, from lots of resources, even our leaders. But as we can see, a lot of us are still disappointed. It's understandable. And I know our leaders, our, our politicians are doing their best for us. But the capacity of humans, of people, are very limited. We can only do our best. But beyond our best is God's best. And that's the kind of healing that we should be after. It's a healing that is not just for this world, but it's a kind of healing that goes beyond the things that we know of, the things that we understand. It's a kind of healing that can give us life that is eternal. A lot of people have passed on during this pandemic. But believe me, if they have Christ in their lives, and if they accept God as their Lord and their Savior, they are happy, they are joyful, and they are living peacefully in their life with Him eternally. Let us pray on this day of our dear Savior's birth. Our Father sent His only Son to live and die right here on earth. Let's send our praises up to heaven for our Lord to hear. We never knew that someone's love could be so I was so blessed to be given the opportunity to, to be part of Sustainable PH as their Director for Culture and Art. And so that's how Edenic Archipelago was born. 